It's great of you to join us now because we are going to continue to solve quadra quadratic equations but now we're going to use the formula yeah so I've showed you how to um, solve quadratics with uh, factoring but now we're going to use the formula and I'm using always the term the ABC formula uh, rather than just saying the formula and soon you understand why yeah the question usually is correct your answer to two decimal places and show all your workings now the fact that they say correct to two decimal places already suggests that you cannot factorize it. Yeah? Remember when we were factorizing those uh, expressions then you always had, you know, in those brackets x plus 7, x plus 2. Yeah? Anyway, nice uh, whole numbers, okay? You never had any decimals because we can't factorize that yeah? for our IGCSE anyway. Yeah. So um, considering they say two decimal places, considering they tell you your answers are going to be non-exact answers already tells you I cannot factorize it so I'm going to use the ABC formula okay and even analyzing the question x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals 0 you can think of two or try to think of two numbers multiply minus 9 and if you add them 5 it's not going to work the formula okay I'm just going to take this part away so I have a little bit more space yeah so that is my equation and you will feel probably a little bit scared in a minute, yeah? And you probably will tell yourself, oh, it's impossible for me, I, I, I won't understand, yeah? But trust me, that's a normal feeling to have in a couple of minutes, but also trust me when I say that you can answer these questions. Everybody can, you gotta practice it 10, 20 times and everybody can answer these questions, which are always worth a lot of points and you'll always get them, so I strongly suggest you listen carefully to all my videos from now on, yeah? Anyway, x squared plus 5x minus 9 equals 0. The ABC formula. Now, first of all, again, it's important that you equal the quadratic equation to 0, uh, like you also do for factoring. Secondly, it's again important that you order it nicely. This term of the x squared followed by the term of the x followed by your constant, your number, equals 0, yeah? And then, in general, we say yeah, that the equation looks like this. A x squared plus B x plus C equals zero. And that's why, I, that's why I call it the ABC, because we're gonna look at those numbers, yeah? So in general, A x squared plus B x plus C. So in this equation, yeah, in this example question, what is my value of A? What is my value of B and what is my value of C? Now let's have a look. My a is the coefficient of my x squared term. Which number is in front of the x squared? Yeah, hopefully you realize that it's actually a one over there, isn't it? Yeah, so my a is one. Now have a look at b. What is the value of b? That's the number of my x term, yeah, the coefficient there. And that is a five. And what about my c? And that is my, my constant, yeah? That in this example question is minus nine, okay? So you always have to determine the value of your a, b, and c, because you're gonna use those a, b's, and c's in a formula in a minute. And I suggest that, let's say, the first 20 times you solve questions like this, you write it down a, b, and c. Once you get a little bit more experienced, perhaps you can skip that step. And then you're gonna do or apply the following formula, yeah? Now hold back, sit tight, yeah? Put your cup of tea down, yeah? You might spill some, because this is how it goes. And you have to remember this formula. The next is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four times a times c, and all of that divided by two times a. This is what I call the ABC formula, eh? and what your book will call just the formula. Yeah, those A, Bs and Cs, they refer to these A, Bs and Cs. What do I have to do now? I have to substitute these values into this formula. The A, B, C formula. And really this formula, if your mom or dad or whoever takes care of you wakes you up two o'clock in the night and asks you, what is the ABC formula? You have to be able to say, uh, X equals minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus four AC over two A. Yeah, and trust me, you will be able to do it that quickly if you practice 10 or 20 questions. Okay, so I already prepared this sheet, yeah, um, 
before, yeah, so in general, ax squared plus bx plus c, then we have to fill in the b's and the c's and the a's at the correct places. Now, what does that plus minus mean? Again, I prepared that. Rather than writing down, so x equals minus b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, or x equals minus b minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, we say plus or minus, yeah, just to save us the hassle of writing down the formula twice, yeah? But it again suggests I'm gonna get most likely two answers, yeah? same as factoring. Okay, now let's have a look. I always have to show my working, okay? Because you can also just do it in your calculator. I'll show you in a future video how, yeah? so you can check your workings, but because they don't want you to do everything in your calculator, you have to show your workings, and of course, Where's the fun if you wouldn't? So, this is how you do it. First of all, you're gonna write down the formula. X equals minus B uh, plus or minus B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's how you start, okay? And then you're gonna substitute all the values. Minus, now how much is B? Five, all right? Plus or minus the square root. B squared, I strongly encourage you to always do that in brackets, especially when B is a negative number. Yeah. So put that in brackets, squared, minus 4 times A, 1, times C, minus 9, and all of that times, or divided, I should say, by 2 times A, 1. Yeah, so I've substituted all those values in my ABC formula. Okay. Now I'm going to simplify that, I'm going to show my working. Um, I have a lot of pieces of paper here now, let me just get rid of a few. Okay. So, um, oh, that should be, still fit here, by the way. Minus five, plus or minus. Okay, now I can use my calculator, perhaps. Yeah, 25, yeah, and then minus four times one times uh, minus nine. Uh, that's gonna be 36. 25 plus 36, that will be 61. And all of that divided by two times one is two. Okay, now, I've shown my workings. I'm gonna get two values for x, x, and x. There we go. So I'm gonna grab my calculator here. Um, what shall I do? Minus five. I'll do, I always do plus first. Yeah, minus five plus the square root of 61 equals, and all of that, so my answer divided by two equals. And I remember it's saying that I had to uh, correct my answer to two decimal places. Yeah? That's what the initial question uh, told me and then if I do that correctly, I'm going to write it down in one go. It's 1.41 Yeah, that's my first answer my second answer minus 5 now I'm going to do minus the square root of 61 equals divided by 2 equals and to two decimal places minus 6.41 all right, the ABC formula. And please don't tell yourself I can't do this because you can, I know you can. I don't know who you are, but I do know that you can do this as long as you try. So I have more videos for you with more examples. I'm gonna say a few more things about it anyway. Yeah? Just some, some tips for you there and I'll show you in your calculator how to do it so you can always check your answers. Okay, see you at the next video.